Mogul Motivation, educating and empowering entrepreneurs one week at a time. Presented by True Stories Media. And I am your host, Antoine Twiz Taylor. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Mogul Motivation. Welcome back. I'm happy that you are here. If this is your first time listening, this podcast is for the aspiring entrepreneur who is trying to get over that hump and make things happen. This podcast is for anybody with a dream that wants to aspire higher and accomplish that dream. This podcast is available on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, iHeartRadio, and Spotify. So whatever platform you're listening to it on right now, you can find it on those other platforms as well. You know, the old phrase goes, one man's trash is another man's treasure. But what happens when we treat our own treasure as if it's trash? You see, we live in a world and an age where millionaires are popping up every day. People are making millions of dollars from anything. You can make millions of dollars from having an OnlyFans page, right? That's the new trendy topic to talk about. Um, You can make millions of dollars by having a YouTube page talking about anything. It's literally a market for anything on YouTube, and it's a market for anything in this world. Millionaires are being generated every single day. And on the flip side of it, billionaires are being generated every single day. Right now, even though it's still sad, even though it's still scarce, We live in an era where there's more black American billionaires than ever before. It's six. And that's still nothing compared to the 650 billionaires in this country. But nevertheless, everything is growing. It seems as if people are making more and more money. It's never been seen like this before in history. History repeats itself, no doubt. But never before in history have people been able to generate wealth as fast and as fluid as people are doing it right now in 2020. Despite a pandemic, despite the fact that it's still so many people struggling, people are generating wealth. So because of this craze, because of this, because of this boom that we see happening with wealth and with money, we see it on Instagram, social media. Everyone is like looking for the next big thing, the next quick come up, right? It's it's like we're falling prey to the trap of instant gratification, So we want to figure out how can we make money and how can we make lots of it right now? So we start searching for different gimmicks, for different schemes. And I don't mean scheme in a bad way. I mean more so how can we create a plan so that my business or this idea can go from zero to $100 million by next Tuesday? That's what I mean by scheme. So I don't mean it in a negative connotation, but we're looking for the next come up. And we all fall prey to it. I've fallen prey to this many times in my entrepreneurial career. I'm not ashamed to admit that. But it comes a time where we have to sit down, slow down, and reset our mindsets. Fast money doesn't last long. If you want instant gratification, you're in the wrong game. Because... What we fail to realize is when we see all these millionaires, all these billionaires, we tend to think that it happened overnight. But in reality, it didn't happen overnight, regardless of who they are, whether they're black, white. It doesn't matter. No one gets to a million dollars overnight unless you win the lottery, unless you hit the jackpot at the casino. But if you're in business, if you're working in your career, no one makes it to a million dollars. No one makes it to a billion dollars overnight. So we're already playing ourselves by thinking That they got there overnight by thinking that instant gratification is real. It's not real. It's an illusion. So we're playing ourselves from the outset when we're trying to develop these schemes and these quick come ups and these business plans is going to take us from poverty to prosperity overnight. We're already playing ourselves. See, the reality of it, not the illusion, but the reality of it is everything is going to take work. Everything is going to take time. So it brings us back to my opening statement. One man's trash is another person's treasure. But what happens when we treat our own treasures as if it's trash? This is what happens. We tend to play ourselves with instant gratification. That's what happens because, look, the come up you're looking for, that scheme, that plan that's going to take you from zero to $100 million that you're looking for has been in your mind the entire time. Everybody has a market. I talked about that already. It's a YouTube channel for literally everything. You can literally make a business for almost anything and make millions of dollars. There's blue collar millionaires out there. 
the treasure in your mind that you're treating as trash is what's going to take you from zero to a hundred million dollars, from poverty to prosperity, to make you a billionaire. That's what's going to get you there, but you are ignoring it because you think instant gratification is real. That idea you have, that book that you want to write, that business plan that you've been overlooking for four years ever since college. All of these things that we buried in our minds and we treat as trash is really our treasure. Think about it. It was one point in time where people really thought that the iPod wasn't going to make it. And now that iPod generated trillions and trillions of dollars. A powerhouse in Apple. It was one point in time where Walt Disney was laughed out of MGM Studios because no one believed that people would watch a mouse on screen. What I'm trying to tell you is, whether you're black, white, don't matter where you come from, that idea in your head, no one is going to believe in it now. You don't even believe in it now because you don't think it can be done. But you have to tell yourself that it can be done because it's a reason that idea was embedded in your mind in the first place. It's not trash. It's treasure. That gold mine you're looking for is within you the entire time. But you're spending so much time digging elsewhere for a fool's gold, thinking that's going to make you rich and wealthy and successful That you're not spending the energy and the time to dig within yourself to fine tune that idea within you. So again, that book that you have, that business plan that you have, whatever that idea is that you have, treat it like the treasure that it truly is and begin to dig for it and refine it and make it happen. Understand it's going to take work. Understand it's not going to take overnight, but it is going to be worth it. This is what I had to tell myself, ladies and gentlemen. I mean this with all my heart. The ideas in my head that I've had for so many years, I had to realize that's the intellectual property that's going to make me wealthy. That's what's going to get me from point A to point B. It's not all these other things that I'm not great at. Do I have a couple stocks? I do. But the stock market isn't my thing. I'm not ashamed to say that. I'm not well versed on the stock market. And truth be told, I don't care to be. Because it's not my thing. Yeah, I have a few stocks, but I'm not going to be no big time Benjamin Graham. It was one point in time I was buying books on stocks and stock market and all this, trying to teach myself how to invest in stocks, thinking that's what's going to make me wealthy. That's not me. So that's my message this morning, ladies and gentlemen. Stop treating your treasure as if it's trash. Stop burying it under the radar. Dig it up. Dust it off and put it to work. And I promise you. It will yield results. It might not be overnight, but it will yield results because only you can do it the way you can. No one else can do it the way you can. It's billions of people on this earth. Nothing is new under the sun, but the way you can do it under the sun is the unique and only way. So do not treat your treasure as trash. Dig it up from under the radar and let's make it happen. So let's continue to work. Let's continue to imagine reality. Do not search elsewhere for your treasure because it's within you the entire time. If this podcast has benefited you in any way, shape or form, I ask for two things as always, ladies and gentlemen. Number one, please leave a five star review. And number two, pass it on to a friend who may benefit from it as well. Have a great day. I'll talk to you next week.